Hey everyone, it's Bree. I'm back with another scrapbook process video for the Spiegel Mom Scraps design team. And this is going to be my final layout as a Spiegel Mom Scraps sparkler. I've been a part of the design team for four years now and my term has ended. And I wanted to give a huge thank you and lots of love to Jody Spiegelhoff for having me. I have loved being a sparkler and I've loved designing with sequins. Um, so thank you so, so much. Uh, I am going to be working with two different sequin mi mixes today. The first one is Rainbow Sherbet. I've used that one before. And then the second one is Gladiola Fields. And I just wanted to mix both uh, sequin mixes because they happen to match very nicely together uh, with the Full Bloom collection from Simple Stories. And I got this kit from my Patreon kit from Erica Rose Creates, and I'm so excited to share this one with y'all today. Um, as you know, I thought it would be great to make my final layout using a sequin shaker. Uh, so I went through and I looked at this uh, 12 by 12 cut apart sheet and I saw this rainbow and I immediately thought I could turn it into a shaker. So I just gutted the cloud where you would put journaling and headlines for journaling. So I gutted it and then I'm going to apply some of this Beagle Mom Scraps uh, acetate as my window. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna add some glue and glue it down to the acetate. And if you have not worked with or uh, purchased any of the acetate from the shop, hands down the best acetate. It's glossy, it's clear, it is just absolutely fantastic and I love it. So I've just glued it on to that um, cloud and I'm going to trim away the excess. And then a tip, if you did get some glue or if you happen to have glue on your fingers and then you touch the acetate and it smudges, I have alcohol wipes on hand and it cleans it up so nicely. So if you get glue or smudges on your acetate, just take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and um, it'll get rid of it. Okay, so I've got my acetate down and then off camera, I did add some narrow foam strips around the perimeter of my cloud to create a place for my sequins to sit. And I'm gonna carefully spoon in both mixes or I poured in the first mix because I had taken out, of, out the purple ones. Um, and then I'm gonna spoon in the rainbow sherbet right in. So I've got a mix of yellow, like some blue, and some of the orange, and it is so pretty. So I've got all my sequin mixes uh, added, and then I'm gonna close my sequin shaker up with vellum. That is my backer of choice. Um, I've said it before, I do like to uh, close it or close my shakers with vellum because I don't want my sequins to have to compete with pattern paper. And uh, look at how pretty that shakes, and it matches that rainbow so nicely. So yes, I mean, I have backed my shakers with pattern paper or like a, a pocket life card, but my go-to is vellum. Um, especially when I do some mixed media, you could that way you can see a bit of that mixed media behind the shaker. So I took this stencil that I had in my stash, I had purchased it like at a garage sale for like a dollar, and I'm gonna take some uh, Distress Oxide ink in speckled egg, and then I'm gonna lightly do some ink blending uh, kind of in the middle of my page. I've got a white, piece of textured cardstock that I'm um, using as my base. So I'm just gonna carefully ink blend a little bit of that on and I'm gonna go ahead and start um, putting together the rest of my page. So here is that gorgeous full bloom collection from Simple Stories. I'm going to just tear this uh, bit of pattern paper on the bottom and just adhere it down. I've roughed up the edges. Uh, I just wanted a little bit of something at the bottom. I did think about adding another strip up on top, but I left that area uh, empty and just uh, added the pattern paper on the bottom. So there is my shaker. I'm just going through the uh, bits and pieces of ephemera. I used one of the phrases that says, hello spring as my title. My photo is of my boys. This was a long time ago. I used this printing uh, company. I don't even know if it's in business anymore, but it's called Printstagram and it would print these two by two photos uh, from Instagram. And I had this one left over that I wanted to use. And it was like perfect because it had that same like filter vibe that matched this collection so nicely. So I'm just going to adhere my shaker down I get my photo adhered down. I've got my title. I used one of the uh, foam stickers. It's that sun and I've kind of tucked that underneath my title. I also added foam tape to my title as well as the rainbow since I used foam to create my shaker just to make sure everything is on the same level. And then I've added a butterfly. I've got some bees. I added a floral piece, a cloud, and a bird down to the bottom. 
I've got some ye yellow tangled thread. I'm going to add some more tangled thread over here. I also have it in mint um, by my title as well. So just something simple, get another layer of texture. But yeah, so um, just wrapping this up, I don't think I do too, more, too much more other than adding some black acrylic paint splatters just to tie everything together because I do have pops of black in the bees, my title, and then in my photo from like my garage. Uh, so yeah, it kind of just brings everything together. But yeah, so that is it. Thank you guys so much uh, for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Just know that you can use my code Brianna15 to save you 15% off. You can always use that. It doesn't go away. My code will always work. Uh, so yeah, once again, a huge thank you to Jody. A huge thank you to Sarah Scraps. She is our design team coordinator. Uh, I have loved designing with your sequin mix. It has been a, an amazing four years, uh, but thank you again, and I'll see you in my next one. Here is a final layout as well as some up-close shots, and uh, thanks again. I'll see you soon. Bye.